just, you know, stretch everything. Okay, so just like that. And then, so if we check the sphere back in here. Let's rewind it a little bit. Okay, so when you play it, yeah, I know, the animation's really bad. Oh, wait. Before you play it, do a simulation tags, do a collider body for both of the cubes. Okay. And so when you play it, you know, it'll sweep cubes in, and then the walls will close in so they can't go anywhere. So if you stop it here, you can see that there are cubes in there. So that, let it just play out and see what it looks like here. Okay, so that doesn't look bad. That's what it's going to look like when it's all finished. Okay, so it's got all that. Alright, now what we're going to do is... Oops, let's do this. Yeah, like that. Okay, so now... Now we're going to add... Let me think about this. Uh, okay, let's just add another cube. Uh, uncheck the sphere in the corner, just so it's easier. It's a lot less laggy. Okay, so. Basically, just align yourself with this. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put it inside this one, inside this one, so that you can't really see it. Alright, so you see that? You can't really see it. Alright, and you're going to put an orange on that one, and you're also going to put a collider body. What you're going to do is you're going to do the same thing, except at 90... Or no, sorry, you're going to put 0, 90, and you're going to stretch it to the size of the triangles, like so. To the tips of the triangles, like so. Okay. And so now, when you play it, it will stretch with the wall, so it doesn't look awkward. And then at about, let's see, 140, you're going to click a keyframe there. keyframe at 200 and you're just gonna record and you're just gonna pull it forward okay like that and so now it should pull forward and then back here it should shrink okay so now what you got to do is you got to go to the first cube no sorry the second cube which is this one what you're gonna do is you're gonna put a keyframe at like Say like 120. Hold on, we gotta we gotta watch the video and pause it to where we where we want it. Basically, when everything is settled, that's when we want to do it. Of which I think is gonna be about 120. All right, so everything is stretching nicely. Yeah, so about 120. So we're going to put a keyframe there. We're going to put a keyframe at 140, which is good. Okay, we're going to stretch the wall here so it covers. We're going to raise it up. Oh, not that much, though. Okay, and what you're going to do is you're going to go down to the point where you're kind of well, not equal, but like a level. So you can see, so you're going to raise it up just enough for like one ball to fit through each like row. See, just like that. See how there's like one row of balls or spheres or whatever you want to call them. Um, so now it should, yep, so just like that. So let's get our angle back here. We're gonna 
zoom in a little bit. Okay. So now when we play it at really bad quality. Alright, you know what? Let's just minus the sphere so we can just see what it looks like. Okay. And then that moves up and then that pushes forward. Okay. Okay. So we are pretty much done. Just let me review to the older video because I don't remember entirely what I did. I think that's about it. Yep, that's it. Okay, so let's review that with the spheres, even though sadly it's going to be a nightmare watching it. Okay, so it's going to bounce, you know, all of that. This isn't real time. This is about let's see six. This is about six point three no point two seconds. So it's not like enormously long. So when that moves forward. Yep, see? So stuff explodes. See? And then it falls, and then it ends with stuff in the air. So that's pretty much it. So just make sure your render settings are everything. AVI Movie is the best. And AVI Movie does play on um, QuickTime. Because this is AVI Movie. This is an AVI Movie. See, AVI. This one's all messed up, though. It shouldn't look like that. It should look like this. But it's like this one was glitched when my computer crashed. And I thought my life was over. But no. For some reason, that one's all goofed up, but... Okay. So, all you're gonna do for now is you're gonna choose a good angle, which is about right here. And the reason I do... For those of you who are wondering... The reason I do 1260 on the width and the height is because if you don't... Or like, if I did 1080p or 1080 or whatever, this... If you extended this to like there, then you wouldn't see this. That's why I do it. And it gives it a much bigger screen. See? Move that over. Okay, so that looks like a good length. So we're just going to click the render button and wait for it to render. And I will pause the video. See you then! Okay, guys, I am back, and uh, when it's done rendering, it'll look like this. This little green bar will be over here. And um, if you saved it to your desktop, which you should have, because it's the best place, unless you have a certain place, it should show up like right here. So as you can see, it says YouTube. And if we play it, we will see once it opens up. Okay. Okay, so it should look like this at your angle. And when you press play, it should look pretty sweet. Okay. So that's pretty much it. Um, I will probably show you how to do this one. And maybe make a template for you guys. And you can download it on my website. I will do raw and zip files. Um, so yeah. Um, rate, comment, and subscribe, and that's pretty much it, I think, so see ya, that didn't work, did it, okay, well, oh, and yeah, by the way, make sure to save, and if you want, you can also do something like, um, so if you really want it to like right here, you can do something where you go like no text, you know, delete. I hate it when it does this. Where's my mo text?
No text. Okay, and then you can do, I like to do some around 60. Okay, just turn it a little bit. Do, do, do. Okay, you go like that, and you put it inside this, make it a little bit smaller too, but you, oh gosh darn it, no text, middle, now I gotta move it, move it like directly in the middle, and so then, when you when it, it goes inside here when it like falls apart your your like text will be there and then you can like enlarge it or I'll show you. Okay, so then you can do you know font or whatever. I'm not gonna do a font. Actually no, yes I will. I always do one called Balter, because that's like the awesomest font ever. Right there. Alright, so yeah. Okay, so then what you can do is let's just make a quick mat here. A mat file. MMM. Doesn't really matter. Reflection. 50. Color. Let's just make it yellow. That works. No text. So see, you can't really see it. Can't see it because the gradient is so bright. So what you're going to do is basically, so after it's fallen, See about right there. Okay. Then you're basically just going to do this. Keyframe there. Keyframe there. Go back to 20. Just going to enlarge it. Like big time. Just like that. Okay. And if you do that. Then. Oh. Nuts. You gotta click this first though, and then do it. Okay, and once you do that, so now it should. So when you play it, it'll go like that. And then, so, once it clears up, it'll be like that. Like that. And what you can do is you can, I don't know if this will work, you can make it a collider body, but I don't know what it'll do at the start. Yeah, see? It pushes everything. Don't think that'll do any damage, so let's watch here. If it doesn't do any damage, then it works. See like how stuff sits on top of it? That's a collider body. It doesn't let anything pass through it. So, as it keeps going, it might cover it. I'm not sure. If it doesn't, it's going to be like perfect. Yeah, see. It covers it. What you can do though is so go back a little bit like 180. Whoa, 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 go back, go back. I did not want to move that. Like 180, you might be able to go to keyframe there. And like a keyframe there. And then do something like you can move it up. Just a little bit like that. Like it's sitting kind of on top. And so then it'll move up when that comes around. Kind of like exploding background. Okay. So yeah. That's about it. Um, yeah, so see you in my next video. Bye!